just under a minute to play in half number one. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To throw again, Allen. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. They'll be taken down. The Jets get in there for the sack. Trent Murphy just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with just under 30 seconds to go in the first half. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Over the middle here to Brown. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. down Allen and a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete well, let's see who this is on clearly wasn't outside of the tackle box there's your penalty and accompanying that penalty a loss of down they lose the yardage and of course they also lose the down on the grounding call and it's quickly second and long to throw it's Allen He's got the hook up to John Brown on the right side. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. Tyler Bass on for the field goal. A 50-yard attempt. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play. That's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. We'll see if we one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. We'll see if they do just that. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Out of the shotgun, here's Darnold. Throw complete to Herndon. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. A loss of a yard brings up second and 11 at the 40-yard line. 
On second and 11 now. Darnold got a man. It's Brashawn Perriman. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. Jets. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 47. From the shotgun, it's a give to Bell. And he picks up about six as he gets this down to the 41. Ball carrier. Now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. And bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. From the 41, Darnold. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Darnold from the gun. That is caught. It's Perriman. Darnold fighting Perriman there for a New York first down. I'd have to say that whenever you see a good post route run, they do not like to let it end without the catch. Hence, that great diving play. Yeah, lay it up there. Let him go get it. And he got it. They'll run on first down. Bell. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive, because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. A good position to be in here, second and inches. Again, it's Bell. And he's in. Touchdown, Jets. Le'Veon Bell. Already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Jets are going to add on to their lead. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. At their own 25-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And their halftime hole now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing. And try and get back to where you were to start the half. I'm getting the sense that this offense is getting frustrated. Here we are into the third quarter, and they've had plenty of opportunities to get in sync. Thus far, that hasn't happened. They're looking for answers both on the sidelines and in the huddle looking at each other. Second and 10, third quarter of the season opener. Now a handoff, Johnson. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To the air, Allen. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first. But at least it's fourth down. The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. Now Benjamin. 
A good kick that time, but also a pretty good 15-yard return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Their own 37 yard Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, is it? I mean, they score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another other team that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score. Le'Veon Bell, it's a foot race past the 20. That all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Touchdown. Le'Veon Bell with now three week one touchdowns. And the Jets will extend their lead. He knocks it through. It's 28 7. Makes the score Jets 28, Bill 7. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position. He's got a man complete. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. It's a gain of 34. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Here's Allen. This is caught inside the 15. And he's out of bounds, almost gets to the 10. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. First and 10 at the 12-yard line. Throwing now is Allen. This will be caught just inside the 10. And here he'll get it down to the 7. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Brings up second and five at the seven yard line. Now a tenth carry for Johnson. And he's going to be stopped here for no gain. And that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. Back now in Buffalo. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. Now Allen, and he's got his tight end Knox for a Bills touchdown. A seven-yard touchdown grab, and the Bills cut into that lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody, but those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, defense just has to hate those guys. It just drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The Jets take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. He's tackled at the and I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he takes it all the way down 